base resin and this is a jewelry resin and I love using this for jewelry. I also use a product called art resin for larger projects but this is what I use for the jewelry projects and I will leave a link in the description box below on where you can get this and this is a one-to-one -one mix ratio this is basically how you do it I have a little measuring cup here and the best way to do it mark your cup right at the level that you pour so I'm gonna mark this here and you really want to get down to eye level when you're pouring your resin so that you are pouring the right amount because it's not going to mix correctly if you don't pour the right amounts and it's not going to harden correctly doesn't matter which one you start with you just go ahead and pour and then I like to do to check the level is I just tip it forward a little bit and then tip it back and usually I can see really where I'm at really good where I'm at you go ahead and pour the other okay and that looks to be about exact then what you want to do most resins you want to mix them for about three minutes in order to mix everything in thoroughly when you're mixing your resin you want to mix it nice and kind of carefully and and cautiously and slowly you don't want to just get in there and wah, 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 like a blender because you're going to develop a lot of bubbles you want to scrape down the sides of your cup taking care not to spill it everywhere and go ahead and mix it in carefully one thing that you may develop when you're stirring is bubbles and what you can do if you develop bubbles is you can let them sit under a heat lamp the resin under a heat lamp for about 10 minutes afterward or you can use a source of heat like a heat torch you know which which is what I use or a lighter or some sort of way to flame where you're just running it over top most of the bubbles if you let it sit for about 10 minutes especially if it's under like a heat lamp will rise to the top and they will pop so we're just going to continue this for another two minutes or so and once i'm done doing mixing this i'll be back okay i have mixed the resin for three minutes and again if you don't mix it for three minutes it will not set correctly so you want to make sure that you have done that and you notice that you can see some bubbles in there those will again like I said rise to the top if you just let it sit for about five minutes or ten minutes especially under a source of heat I use a flame torch it's a regular kitchen flame torch and I just go ahead and pop the bubbles on the surface as they come up so right now they're not completely all at the top yet but that's what I do you just run it over back and forth very quickly and it pops the bubbles for you so we're gonna let this sit for a couple more minutes but basically that's it for pouring resin and then you would continue to either mix in any of your inclusions or you would go ahead and pour them into any cavities that you may have chosen or whatever other reason you're going to be using it for so hopefully that's helped you in learning how to mix resin we will be doing this in quite a few of our videos in the future so if this has helped you please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you back here and we'll be looking forward to sharing a lot more with you thanks and have a great day bye bye